This podcast may contain Sorry. explicit language <laughs> and maybe some other sexual things. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. Welcome to uh, uh, Gassy Radio, your home for gaming, anime, superhero news, and entertainment. Waft in and listen. Here are your hosts, Randy and Luigi. Excuse me. Welcome to a brand new episode of Gassy Radio. I'm Randy Lee Beasley. And I'm Luigi Bonanno. People fucking suck. And happy belated Labor Day to all you listeners out there. Yes, yes. People do suck and happy belated freaking Labor Day. It's been a fucked up day today. Yeah, we recorded this on Labor Day, but it's out on Wednesday. Uh, I think I did a uh, um, Pop Samurai I co-hosted last night and recorded, and then fucked up stuff was happening in the very place we were recording right now, but it's not nighttime and not close to 11 p.m., so it's not as scary as it was Wait, last Pop night. Wait, Pop Samurai was here? No, I, did, I, call, I called in, and me and him hosted his podcast. He had the app through his phone, and he put it on the thing. I had, like, That's my headset great. in. But, yeah, no, it's then crazy, crazy, like, I was hearing noises out here and shit and everything. But, yeah, so anyway, it's Labor Day. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, move into the uh, gaming section. Pass me a controller and grab that beer. It's game time. The gaming section. There is a Tim Allen Doom mod, the original Doom. Did you see that? No, I need to see oh this. Oh, my God. Pull it up. Oh, wait. Fuck, you have to be on the Wi-Fi. You have I am wifi. on the wifi. wifi. I'm pulling Everything. that fucking shit up the right now. The gun reloading, the gun shooting, the monsters dying. It's it's all Tim Allen going, huh? His fucking catchphrase from Home Improvement. It's fucking epic. And while we're waiting for Luigi to pull that <laughs> up, uh, did you see the thing that I shared? Chroma Squad? It's like a RPG game on like the no, I didn't network. See it. it's like a spoof of power rangers like you have like nine different power ranger colors oh, and there's oh, mech yeah, battles that, and that shit thing. wait is, is is it multiplayer online yeah it's chroma, what? it's chroma squad you can you can have people join you and everything from different fucking dude when when that game comes out we're buying it and we're being power rangers fuck it no, wow that's the not... first thing that popped up was tim allen doom now they're not there's not it's not officially fucking it's not power rangers but it's it's like a it's a parody of it and i there's like weird ass colors. There's like three different purple. Like there's you can have as many colors as you want. I think it's on YouTube. Uh yeah, let me let me fucking Luigi still. Well, it says to find ew. It. Uh... That's right. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna play the. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Right now, I'm watching this thing, and you even are the, walking over, the, like, 5,000 Tim Allen. Even the Allens. theme music is Tim Allen. Right. You shoot your gun, and it's Tim Allen coming out of the gun. The gun is Tim Allen. What the fuck am I watching? Just listen. Just listen. And the gun firing makes that sound, too. Put, put it closer to the podcast so they can hear it. It's amazing. This is, like, fucking weird, man. <laughs> like, I've never seen... Like, this is... You gotta, like, put, like, a little clip of this up or something, like, for the, the viewers. This is fucking, like, nuts. Anyway. I can't sit here and watch this anymore. Like, that's fucking crazy. Anyway, they just announced, finally, Snorlax is getting something added on to him. Munchlax. Dope. A pre-evolved form of Snorlax, which turns into I Snorlax. I thought we already had that. But here's where I'm getting to. So, now... Since it's the Aloha region and everything, if you give Munchlax a specific move, when he and you keep and you you keep it on him when he evolves into Snorlax, that's yeah. how Snorlax gets his powerful Z move in the Aloha region. So, so you have to keep a specific move. So essentially, I think it was either it was either an item or a move, but yeah, Munchlax has been in the, in the Aloha region. In order to give Snorlax that special Z move. When he evolves, he has to have the same. Did you thing. see that Z move? Yes. That's fucking nuts. His eyes got all like right. evil, and, he, and then the trainer like looks up <laughs> and he like makes Snorlax jump. That's terrifying. Right. You're getting crushed by one of the heaviest Pokemon oh, in the God. entire Pokemon universe. Let's see here. Um, Luigi showed me the new regional version of Rattata. Yeah. What? It was like dark something. Yeah. It's um. It was. It's like. It looks like poop now like it looks like, like right. his skin is his hair is like shit yeah it's it's weird i hopefully it actually evolves into something good or radicate is better somehow yeah like 
because the originals, Rata like, even in Pokemon Go, fuck Rattata, right. fuck Raticade, they're a bunch of assholes. But hopefully, like, I'm hoping, like, clearly, if Vulpix, it, it's ice now, Ninetales should be ice. Therefore, if Rattata, whatever the fuck, Rattata, turns into Raticade, Raticade should look different as well. Right, and they did say that uh, Ninetales is going to be uh, an ice type, so... Right, so that's why I'm saying, like, that Raticade should look fucking cooler as well. Just like Persian with the new Meowth, that should look cool as well. I have to ask, do we have even any Pokemon Go news? Yes. We um, do have some Pokemon Go news. Because even I haven't played this game in over a month, because it's just been... I just got my first 10k egg in like two weeks, and I don't even care. Right, you're just like, eh. It definitely has died down. Right, it's... It, it wouldn't have died down like this if they didn't fucking get all stupid and try to fix stuff. And then just decide not to fix it and just add other dumb shit. Like, the next thing for gaming is they just found that there's, like, two new types of incense in the game's yeah. code. So it's just like, but no one gives a fuck at this point. Right. And what the hell, like, I know I heard one was, like, for rare Pokemon. It and only lasts for ten minutes. And, like, you get a higher chance. They're just trying to make up for the fact most people in certain areas can't get all these rare Pokemon. If you live in the city, I see people who oh, are yeah. level 30 and already... And all right. the shit. They have all the Pokemon. They have their Charizards and Which shit. Which makes sense. But, like, still, it's definitely discouraging players out in the middle of bunfuck. Right. Even worse than where we're at. Just not getting them. I'm surprised I have as many as I have now. Right? I mean... I... I mean, I, I don't have a Pokemon over, like, I think... 1500 CP? I haven't even played the game. I'm, st I'm still level fucking 16. Right. And I... I just stopped caring about that fucking game. Like, I'm still, I'm, so, once you hit 20, leveling up is so much harder. Like, I'm not even 21 yet, and I've been doing so much shit. Right, and, and it's not even, caring. it's not even like this thing was overhyped, because the hype was good. Once you got the game in your hand, it was amazing, it was incredible, and that, and then they started fucking with it. Right. Once they started fucking with it, it, it fell off the fucking horse. It, it was just dead. Speaking of Pokemon Go as well, there's the new buddy feature where you're a little, Avatar can now have a Pokemon follow him, like in Pokemon Yellow. What? Yep. It's the it's the buddy feature. You can assign a Pokemon to be... The, so whenever you're walking, your favorite Pokemon... I know what they're going to do with the gyms now. Hmm. They're going to throw... The, whatever Pokemon you have following you, they're going to throw that into the gym. When you win the gym. That exactly. Way. Nobody can steal it. Right. That's how they're going to get rid of poaching. Right. And that's that's an incredible feature. I, I can't say it's not, but... I mean, I would have rather them fix the step problem before doing this. Right. Or even, you know, before doing the fucking clothing. I can't believe... I actually fucking watched on Facebook a bu about a bunch of people complaining about not having enough clothing and uh, customization. Fuck you. Right. Okay? Fuck you. I don't need no fucking customization in my clothes. My character can look like a piece of shit. As long as I'm catching Pokemon, I don't care. Right. I think that you should just, like, take out a couple pictures of yourself and have, like, your face on the thing. Right. As opposed to that. But that's, that's whatever. It kind of defeats the purpose of the virtual reality element of it when your fucking avatar looks nothing like you. Right. <laughs> but whatever. And finally, the last piece I have for gaming is there's a brand new Attack on Titan game coming out for PS4, and the trailer looked fucking yeah. oh sick. Oh, my God. I've been... Dude, I saw this, like, a month back, and I completely forgot to... Actually, I might have mentioned this on a previous we guest. Have mentioned it. Oh my god, it looks so good. they released a new trailer, But it too. looks like it's going to be really hard to play. Oh yeah, it looks like it's one of those games where you either fucking figure out how to play it in the first ten minutes, or you just don't figure out how to play it and you end up selling it. Right. I think it might be... I. It's either going to be, like, the hardest thing you've ever played in your entire life, or they're going to uh, play it like Spider-Man. You know how, like, he would swing around the city? Right. That's how you'd have to be using the grapplers. Right. Um, other than that, I don't I don't see another way to, like, play this game. Right. Other than that, it's just fucking a nuisance, almost. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it almost seems like there may not be, like, there may be too many buttons for the game, you know? Because, like, there's shoulder buttons, so one of those buttons is probably going to be used to swing... X is probably jump. The other two triggers, I can't even, like, imagine what they're they're going to be used for. Or the other three triggers. Yeah. Square, probably attack. Triangle, heart attack. And, oh, yeah, shoot something, maybe? Oh, yeah, just jerk off on the nearest prostitute's face. The giant prostitute. Yeah. They have feelings. Yeah, they use your whole <laughs> body to fucking make her come. But anyway, yeah, that's it for gaming. Let's move on to the anime section. Anime. Animated. Assholes. 
Possibly. And welcome to our anime section. I would really love to start this off with saying that one of my favorite Nickelodeon cartoon TV shows just had a picture released of all the characters ten, ten years, years later. later. And when you hear the name of this show, yes, I'm building up anticipation. When you hear the name of this show, you're going to be like, no shit. Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom is also being talked about having a... Um, a continuation on their series 10 years later which I'd really love to see after that the the finale movie where everybody finally found out about Danny Phantom this is gonna be like great to watch like Supernatural is my favorite live-action show Danny Phantom was really like it was about supernatural stuff so of course I fucking my wiener was hard every time that show was on but it was funny it had right. a, it was action-packed and it didn't they had, get as shitty as fairly odd parents did right and they had two you know that I, that shit came back on too right ah uh, yeah uh, ugh. There's, um, I mean, like, with, with the whole Danny Phantom thing, it was action-packed, it was, it was comedic, it was everything rolled up into one, and it didn't even have any, like, super sexual innuendos either. Right. Like, it, it stayed kid-friendly, and parent-friendly, and adult-friendly, like, all at the same time. It was, it's just a great show, I love it. Digimon Universe, the A-P-P-L-I, Apply, Monsters anime gets a Japanese teaser, and I did watch the Japanese teaser, and it looks pretty fucking cool. Also... With Digimon, Digimon Tri is coming out. The full dubbed version is the coming into select theaters. Ver- Fathom yeah. Events. Actually, they did bring that one out already. Cause well, because Dave and I, when we just saw Yoga Hosers, like it's coming soon to Fathom Events select theaters. Oh, Digimon. I thought I thought he said it already came out. Well, anyway, whether it's coming out or not, it's on Hulu. It's not dubbed, but there's like eight. Or 9, 10, 12 episodes, something like that. Not a huge ton of episodes. I watched the first four when they came out, and it took them like three, four months to bring out the rest of them. Phenomenal. It takes place right after the original Digimon Adventure. After that, that's where it takes place. Picking up with the same exact Digidestin that we all know and love, Ty, TK, no, the stupid Matt. Or newer ones. Right, and this time, the Digimon have actually been able to come into the, the human world. I don't know if you've seen any of it. They're actually able to come into the human world and interact with people. It's freaking phenomenal. What else do we got, young one? Let's see here. <laughs> Girls in Panzer anime is getting the final chapter sequel. Oh, well... Come to think of final chapters, I finally finished Bleach. Oh, yay. Um, I have to say, it's a little fucked up at the end. It's it's just really weird, because it does a... It, for the last two chapters, it does a weird time jump. So, you, like, see all the main characters in the future, and who they wind up with, and their children, if they had children. I'm not spoiling anything. But, uh... The end. I am gonna spoil. Them just right. I am gonna spoil instead. one little thing here, and I'm gonna. It's the very end of the anime because I don't like this, and they have to have a spinoff from this. It's uh, Ichigo Kurosaki's kid, and it's the main character's kid. So you know something weird's gonna happen right at the end, and they meet uh, an- another one of his friends couples, or uh, another couple of his friends uh, got together and they had a kid. The kid winds up in Ichigo's son's room, and he goes, "Oh, who's this?" She says, oh, hey, I'm a Shinigami. Like, this is my name. I'm a Shinigami. And he goes, oh, I'm Ichigo's kid, and so am I. Just out of nowhere, and then it ends. Like, that is the last thing you see. She's like, I'm a Shinigami, too. What? And you're just going to leave us hanging like that. Like, does the kid grow up to, like, fucking murderify some spirits or what? <laughs> I need a, I, never know. <laughs> I, I need some some, like, closure here, guys. Gundam Iron Blood Orphans is renewed for the second season, and then out of nowhere, they're like, here's the teaser for it, which we didn't know they were working on it, because usually, nowadays, there's only one season of a new Gundam, and they just always go on with the next the next story. Yeah, and they usually have, like, 40, 50 episodes right. to a season. This one is, like, one of the first I've ever heard of having a second season. Right. Wait, didn't G Gundam have a... G but... Gundam might have, but I know Gundam Wing didn't. Because, I, I, yeah, Gundam Wing didn't, but... Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam didn't. But Gundam yeah. Wing and Mobile Suit Gundam, they had, like, movie sequels taking place a few years later. Right, right. But th- I think G Gundam was the only one... Because they had the one where he had Shining or Burning Gundam and then Shining Gundam. Right. So I think they had a two-series on that one, and that was the only one. But, yeah, it's been a while since they've done yeah. anything like that. Let's see here. Speaking of which, I have it on here. Uh, what are your favorite Gundams? 
my favorite like Gundams. the series. Like I, I'll just put it in a nutshell right now. It's Gundam Wing and Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. Then it's Mobile Suit Gundam with uh, Amuro Ray, and then finally it's G Gundam. My top three. Um, I would probably have to say G Gundam is my top. Because that one just you could really get into. It was about it was about fighting and yeah, we like, talked about it. it was like Dragon Ball Z meets Gundam. It was right, dope. it was it was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Um, and then after that, I know everybody's gonna hate me for this, but uh, Gundam DC or whatever it SD. was, SD, SD just it cracked me up. I used to come home and watch that show right after school every day. Fucking the best thing I ever I ever watched. Like it mm. was it was a good one. But uh, no, definitely Gundam G is my my uh, top one. I have to watch the rest of them though. Before I can make a final decision. I was waiting for Luigi to be like, ah, oh, Gundam Seed, and everyone <laughs> likes Gundam Seed now, and I'm like... Oh, this, fuck, this. fuck that. I'm not gonna go with what everybody else likes. <coughs> this is my own personal opinion. I just fucking love G Gundam. I even have two of the, um, the model figures done uh, sitting in my room right now. I should probably put those... Fucking... I'll throw those up on Gassy later on today so you guys can, uh, can uh, see it. Maybe Wednesday or today. I haven't decided. <laughs> The jerky, you can unplug it. Uh, Ma- Makoto Shinaki's Your Name film made 770 million yen in just two days, and the film is slated for a release in 85 countries and territories. Wait, it's called what? Your Name. Your Name. Do you yep. know what it's about? Did you get any like description about that? No, but it's Makoto Shinaki, so I mean, I'm sure. Right, I mean, he's got some good shit. Like that's. I'm not, sure it's gonna be amazing. Right. The, uh, like that's that's kind of why I put that out there. It's making this much money. I've never heard of it, so maybe we need to see it if it comes to the U.S. cinemas. Oh fuck yes, dude, man! I the one thing I love is the classic traditional anime, like anime movies, like Spirited Away, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, or Castle in the Sky. Um, I was just about to name another one. There, there's so many. Princess Mononoke. That that was a good one. That was on uh, Adult Swim a couple times. <coughs> That's a good one. <coughs> yeah, they they've got some really fucking good animes. You guys should really check check some of them out. Just um, even looking up Spirited Away, other movies that the guy uh, that um, the director made. He's Miyazaki. Miyazaki was one of the best. I think making these things so you guys should really check some of these out and finally where the fuck did it go the sacred blacksmith magna is to end in two chapters sacred blacksmith yep it's gonna end in two chapters oh that doesn't surprise me there's a lot of anime ending this year and it really surprises me i'm not gonna lie it really fucking surprises me 2016 is the year of all the deaths Speaking yeah of which, wait till we get to the entertainment section because holy shit there's a oh, lot of death. god Anyway, let's, uh... Let's Should end. we just have, like, a mini, like, scroll-down yeah, screen? Jesus, it's <laughs> fucked up. In memoriam. <laughs> let's move into the superhero <laughs> section. Uh, yes, you're, uh, listening to the, uh, superhero section. Ha <laughs> uh, I killed Miss Piggy and ate her bacon for breakfast. And the superhero section has kicked off. As you just heard, always, Kermit does the opening. But guess what? That's pre-recorded because Kermit's still dead. Unfortunately... Luigi checked his freezer, and we went to make frog legs before the episode, and the body's not in there. Um, and the correct way to kill a puppet is to fucking sure, kill you, it. And you gotta, you gotta, it. you gotta tell everybody that I made a huge mistake. Of course. <laughs> hopefully, a dog, one of his dog ate it or something. Something. Hopefully, something happened because I swear to God. Well, my dad was cooking earlier this morning, so it man, did hope- smell like chicken. Hopefully, hopefully that was Kermit's rotted flesh. I'm hoping, but. Uh, he was in there for a while. <laughs> so, I don't know how good that would be. Well, he did make pasta sauce and he ground up some extra shit, so... It tasted amazing. But I, I don't know what's in it. Uh, crazy Cray Cray, uh, Nutsy Cuckoo Amber Heard is Mara in Justice League. Wait, what? Yeah, she's playing Mara in Justice League. Uh, okay, you gotta... The like, uh, soon-to-be ex-wife of Johnny Depp, who's fucking insane. Oh, shit. Amber Heard isn't gonna be in Justice League. She's training in Paris right now. That's I gotta... I'm looking her up while we're talking about this, because I, I need to put a face with a name, but, uh... That's weird. Anyway, Brie Larson is Captain Marvel, but <gasps> the film won't be until 2019. I fucking love her. <laughs> I hate her. You hate her? Why do she's you hate She's in Zombieland, her? and she was in, like, two other movies, and... Because she's trying to make Johnny Depp look like a fucking asshole. 
and trying to get money from. And then she's like, Done, I'm getting seven million from the divorce settlement. I'm going to donate it to charity. Yeah, bullshit. And, like, the whole thing was... Amber Heard? Amber Heard was a lesbian before she met Johnny Depp. And she had police charges. Oh, her? Yeah, she's fucking nuts, though. She had police charges filed against her because her ex-girlfriend was getting beat by her. And then all of a sudden, she becomes unlesbian, marries Johnny Depp, and then all of a sudden, Johnny Depp, one of the nicest people in the world, all of his friends, all this other shit, nothing has ever happened. Even ex-girlfriends, Johnny Depp's never fucking did anything to them. And all of a sudden, Amber Heard's like, Johnny Depp's crazy. So anyway, that stupid fucking asshole is going to be... I heard that he was one of the nicest people you could meet in person. Right. So, I... And apparently, Suck a Marilyn, dick. Marilyn Manson is his fucking daughter's godfather, and he's just flabbergasted by all this bullshit, and he can't understand why anyone would believe Amber Heard over Johnny Depp. Wait, who's that? Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson? Oh, the guy well, who removed his own ribs to suck his own wiener, a yes. musician, is actually really good friends with Johnny Depp, as Kevin fuck, Smith Fuck, we got Jarvis as well. in the studio today? What the fuck? No, that's a good one. But anyway, fuck her. She doesn't need more attention. Right, I mean, this... Oh, that fucking The Brie Larson, again, Captain Marvel film, won't even come out until 2019. So, we're getting all pumped up. She's showing up all these pictures, and the movie hasn't come out for another fucking three years. That's amazingly stupid. Ben Affleck revealed the death stroke for the set of the new Batman solo film. Did you see that? No. On Instagram, Ben Affleck's, here you go. Fucking death stroke comes down a fucking, like, airplane ramp. Like one of those big hangar airplanes where the ramp comes down. Man, he just walks down and it's, it's death stroke and full armor and everything looks fucking amazing. First time ever. I talked about this with Pop Samurai. Deathstroke is going to be the main villain in a Batman movie, and that's fucking amazing. I haven't seen Deathstroke in literally anything but the games. Right. I don't even think he's had anything. He's even been in any of the cartoons, has he? He was the main villain in. Um, Teen, the original Teen Titans, Slade Wilson against Right, Robin. I'm talking about Batman. And, um, yeah, he's been in a couple. He but he? he hasn't really, like, he was fighting Ra's al Ghul and everything, and then he was gonna come kill him. Well, Ra's al Ghul's already dead. He's in, uh, Batman and Robin, or Robin, son of Batman. The animated movie where fucking Damian Wayne becomes Robin. Uh, okay. Deathstroke's like the son main villain. Son of Batman, yeah. But, yeah, no, that's, that's it's great. I'm glad they're not trying to rehash any old villains, and I'm kind of glad they didn't just throw Jared Leto's Joker in there to try to, like, make up for the fact we didn't see much of him in the movie. Like, I'm glad they didn't fucking... I mean, if they sure. throw a little end credit thing in, like, here's a teaser for the for the the next movie or something, that'd be alright, but please don't put him in the movie. Please right. don't. I mean, I still haven't even seen uh, Suicide Squad, and I heard he's, like, one of the worst parts of the movie. I I thought he was great. No, well, I just said he was the worst part. I never said the movie I wasn't great. Like he wasn't was great. They, they went with the cut where, like, Joker is always abusive of Harley Quinn. They went with the cut where he's, like, madly obsessed in love with her. And that's not how Joker is with Harley Quinn. So that kind of thing. I thought he was in the bit. beginning, and then he got abusive and shit. He right? only used her to get out. Oh. And, like, in this movie, he made it. they made it seem like Joker really was in love with her. It's annoying. But anyway, fuck that. Uh, did you see the Team Thor short film that the Marvel one-shots made? To explain, like, where, where it's a comedy. It's where Thor was during the Marvel Civil War. It's no. fucking hilarious. He, like, moved to Australia and, like, got a roommate with a random person and he's working and shit. And the whole little short film is just Thor being a lazy asshole and everything. And, like, towards the end, he meets up with Bruce Banner. Uh-huh. And they're like, have you heard from Tony Stark and Captain America? I heard they're having a quarrel. And Bruce Banner's like, no. As he gets a call from Tony Stark. <laughs> and Thor's like, T- tell, tell him I want to tell him I want to help. Tell him I want to help. And he's like... Oh yeah, no, they hung up and like so. No one wanted Thor to like be on anyone's team because he's just overpowering and all this other shit. It was fucking great. That is fucking. It's hilarious. a great comedy. I recommend anyone who hasn't seen it yet. You to said watch it was it. what? It's called Team Thor. Team Thor. Okay, got it. Steve Rogers has been confirmed. Well, duh. If you're not obvious, he's no longer going to be Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Which Wait, is why? Duh. Because he gave up his shield, just like in the comic, he gave up his shield. He's no longer Captain America. He's just Steve Rogers right now. He's a rogue agent right now, just like in the oh, comics. Oh, yeah, because you said they're setting up for... They're setting up to either Falcon or Bucky to become the new Captain America. Uh, it's pro- most likely going to be Bucky, I would have just to like say. Just like in the comics. and then Right. Because they're, they're most likely, for part one, they're going to kill off Steve Rogers. Because you know that people... I'm are, sure he'll come back as Captain America. People are already pissed off about a black Mary Jane. What do you think they're going to do if Falcon becomes Captain America? Well, in the comics, he does become Captain America as well. Really? When he dies, Falcon takes up, he makes a suit like that, and then Bucky has um, <coughs> a shield that takes the shield, and then when Steve Rogers comes back, because, spoiler, he didn't really actually die, right. he has a different shield. So, like, what I think they're going to do is kill him off, just because he's not Captain America anymore, they're going to kill him. 
they're gonna make <clears throat> someone just like in Iron Man three because they didn't have the rights to Norman Osborn. Iron Man three, War Machine became the Iron Patriot. I think the work that they're gonna do is someone's gonna become the new Captain America in the Avengers Infinity War, which is not part one or two anymore. The next one is just called Avengers Infinity War. And I think Steve is just going to be his undercover. He's just going to be Agent Rogers. And I think he's going to die. I thought they were going to make... Die. I thought they were going to make the death of Captain America like an actual movie. They did. I mean, if they had any balls, they would have killed off Steve Rogers in Civil War. But they didn't have any fucking balls. Well, I would have done... Because in Civil War, he he has murdered... He has to fucking die. He has to. Like, that is part of the fucking... That's why I think he will die, and then in the the, uh, second part of Infinity War, whatever they call it, because they don't have a title for it anymore, he'll come back, and they'll have him redon his costume for one final battle. Right. (coughs) Something stupid's gonna happen, but in a good way, stupid. Let's see here. I even have it. Make Bucky or Falcon Cap, the new Cap, like in the comics, and then maybe he returns for part two. Anyway, uh, Gail Gadot, Wonder Woman... Mm-hmm. Just showed off sexy photos of her almost naked wearing a Batman shirt. So, sorry, Superman. She's Team Batman. <coughs> I love you. <laughs> Thor, free, th- Thor 3, even though it doesn't come out until 2018, is filming in New York. <coughs> Certain people have taken photos and snapshots of Loki and Thor wandering around New York. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen a, a few of the photos. People are all like... Is Loki going to be, like, part of the Infinity War? Didn't he help out or something during the Infinity War? In the War? first Avengers, he, he kind of let Thanos know where the Tesseract was. Oh, yeah, that's Plus right. he had the Mind Stone in the fucking... The, the spear, which got destroyed, and then they were using it. That's how uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were created in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they used the Mind Stone. Well, Thanos always gets his... <coughs> all of the Infinity Stones, so he's going to have to, like, rip it out of Vision's... Head. head, yep. So he, Vision's obviously going to die. Has to. Either that or they're going to be like, oh, he can still survive without it. And finally... Swear to God, Disney, if you pussy out, I'll kill you. <coughs> oh, yeah, pussies. <laughs> finally, Marvel's Runaway... <laughs> Action. Fuck you. Fucking <laughs> stupid last name. <laughs> Take your... <laughs> ...and shoving up your stupid... <laughs> Did he do something else this time? No, I just hate him. And finally, (laughs) Marvel's live-action Runaway series is officially landed on Hulu, and it will be streaming as of next spring, because the show is still filming. Wait, what is it? Marvel's Runaways. Marvel's Runaways? Is it cartoon-based or live-action? It's live-action. Oh, that's cool. It's going to be great. (laughs) It's going to be the first Hulu project where... It's the first Hulu project where uh, Marvel is now in the Hulu universe. Well, I heard that they were going to make... I heard something about a rumor that they were going to... Yeah, that too. But uh, that Netflix was supposed to make like some kind of deal with Disney to get all of the Marvel movies on All the it. Marvel movies and all the Disney movies were supposed to, are supposed to be on Netflix before the end of summer, and it's... Almost, time's running out. Yeah, I mean, like you guys got, like, what, 15 days, something like that? You have a giant <laughs> in your ass right now. You oh, yeah. step your shit up. Oh, fuck yes. And now we got to get into the sad stuff. Let's let's end this, get into the entertainment section. Mark 2, WAP 7, entertainment engage. We are in the entertainment section, and unfortunately... Let's, let's get the shitty news out of the way and end this on a good note. There's three deaths, and I always believe deaths come in three. Not in any particular order. Here's who we lost this past week. Legendary wrestling manager Mr. Fuji has passed away at the age of 82. Hey, at least he lived a long life. Rest in peace, sir. Daryl Ward from Ice Road Truckers, the dangerous <laughs> Ice Road Trucker show where they're going all these things. He passed away. Did he, uh, was it truck related or was this age related? Died in a plane crash. Wow. Wow. He's doing all this dangerous shit. In a truck and a plane kills him? Yep. Oh, man. Like, that's just terrible luck. I, I am... All of our condolences to all the families and friends of, of uh, these actors. And, and finally... Uh, oh, man. This is, this is tough, dude. <sighs> Rest in peace to the mighty, awesome Gene Wilder. Willy Wonka, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, so many more great movies. He was a legend of our, our age, man. That, that one hit me. Like, most celebrities I don't give a fuck about. They die, oh well. 
Right. But that one was pretty crazy. Right, because people die. It happens. Right. They're, they're not close relation to us. But anyway, just uh. Yeah, that's that's sad. We don't we don't know any of the other actors or actresses or anything. But this was this was something from our childhood. This was he, he really away fucking from his long Alzheimer's. Ago. But he had a clear conscience and a clear mind. It was it wasn't his mind that gave out. It was his body that gave out. See, and how the fact of him being strong enough to overcome Alzheimer's. Like, it meant the mental department, right? Right. And it had his body shut down, not his mind. I mean... Good on you, man. Like, that's a champ right there. Right. I, it must have been a hard, long road, but that guy was a fighter. And you know what? He was... Like I said, he was one of the greatest actors of our time. Yes. And an awesome comedian. Yes. Rest in peace again, Jim Wilder. Thoughts and prayers to your family and friends. And let's get on to something else. Oh my god, what the fuck? Colin Capat what the fuck is that asshole's name? The one that didn't stand for the Americ the the fucking national anthem? And he's he's getting all those headlines for it. Colin right. Patrick, whatever the, what is it whatever his stupid fucking name is, I don't even want to give you more attention than just to say, fuck you. Like, That's such a bitch move. And not even like I understand, people have the right to do whatever they want. You don't right. have to stand. It's the fact you're like, I'm oppressed, fucking whatever, black American, all this other shit. Don't try to make yourself stand for something when A, both your parents are white, and B, you're fucking rich with a giant mansion. Okay. That's what pisses me off. Fuck you. Okay, this is my rant. You know what? Fuck you, and fuck all of you guys. The people that... Oh my god, like, I just can't even fathom. You guys are just fucking idiots. You are American people. I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're fucking Mexican. You are a fucking American citizen. Nobody has enslaved you in over 400 years. You can go fuck yourself. Just get a fucking job, stop living off fucking welfare, and get some fucking goddamn American pride in you. God damn it. End of rant. Yes. That was a good one. That was a good one. I got fired up from that. I couldn't even speak. Like, fuck you guys. But anyway, I... Especially I <laughs> when you don't... You're not even a... You're a fucking famous major sports player who's, who's, who's rich and has a mansion. And nothing to bitch about. You're right. just gonna do it just cause. Right. I, rich, poor, black, white, Mexican. Just have some fucking pride in the country that you live in. But nothing pisses me off more than the fact that we give this attention. There are so many more things that are worth our time and brain power in our country and even in our own lives than this. So what? A guy didn't stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. It's a free fucking country. He could do whatever he wants. Google Just... that guy's house. Google Google Colin <laughs> Patrick's house. And then you can say, oh, yeah, fuck this guy. Right. you will. I mean, like, I... But the fact that we're giving this attention instead of the things that actually need it... That's why I said. I was just, just fuck you. But fuck then you went nuts. <laughs> I just went nuts because I'm tired of hearing shit like this. This is, like, the third time I've heard something about somebody saying that... <laughs> female soccer star took a right. knee during the fucking... You were ne- ...over it or suck a dick. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's great. I mean, you've got two options. You want me to bleep any of it or just leave it? <laughs> fucking leave it. Just If it gets a little too racist when you when you listen to it... It's not even racist. So... It's just kind of like, at this point, you're right. First of all, not only is this Colin Gavantrica, he's rich and everything, but like, he was he's, he's like two years older than us. He was not a slave. Nope. So that just fucking pisses me off. Nobody right. from this era was ever a f- understand that you're all upset because your people were oppressed and your ancestors yeah, were oppressed. Yeah, we get that. Right. My answer <laughs> No! <laughs> we took the dildos out of our ass and just got on with our fucking lives. <laughs> Zombieland 2 is officially happening. And no, this isn't like some random article or it's officially happening. I said Bird's gonna be in this, right? Li- yes. The Fuck inti- yes. The, the cast is fucking confirmed, and the script and everything moving forward has been greenlit. We've talked about this multiple times where we heard it was happening right. or it was confirmed. It's legitimately it's, greenlit. Ed, everybody's gonna happening. be in it and everything? The original four cast members are coming back. Fuck yes. And it's, I love it's that happening. cast, man. The writers, let me see, where the hell was it? Uh, it's not a books report or anything. The writers of Deadpool are writing the fucking story for it, so you know it's gonna <gasps> be good. So yes, it's gonna be good. This is gonna be the best thing ever. Mm-hmm. Stranger Things two 
is officially coming 2017. And no, it is not season two because they are playing it off as a sequel. So you'll have Stranger Things, that complete show, and then Stranger Things 2 is its own show. It is the same characters and everything and whatnot, but it is a sequel. They're playing it off. That was like a 70s, 80s movie. This is the sequel to that. Same style. It's just a sequel. It's not season two. It's it's a sequel. So like five years later, the girl right. comes back. Okay, all that shit. And oh, fun. even more news, Colin Farrell and Vince Vaughn have been confirmed to be playing new characters in the second season. Well, Stranger Things 2, which is great. I love both of them. Okay. Especially Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, surprise, surprise. Three new Harry Potter books are coming out soon. Oh my god, J.K. Rowling, I will stab you in the fucking neck, man. One book is about <laughs> what happens when you die in that world and all the ghosts. What? I'm not even fucking kidding. One book is about the American houses and all the teachers from every region. And another and another book is just about Azkaban. Okay, I want the Azkaban book because I want to know what the fuck like goes the on in there. the history of Azkaban and what happens there. Right, I want to know what the fuck happens but in Azkaban. ghosts... <laughs> It's interesting. I'm going to write another book. <coughs> what happens when Ron Weasley <coughs> trims his toenails? And uh, and it bounces off a wall, hits him in the eye, and he dies. He turns into a fucking ghost. But, you know, I understand that she's making a huge profit on this. Stop, dude. I mean, I can understand, like, these being, like, off kilter from the Harry Potter books. These aren't actual sequels, are they? No. Okay. That makes it a little bit more sense. She's not going to make as much money off these books. I'm telling you that right and now. She's saying Maybe that, the Azkaban one. She's saying that they're not going to make any movies about the Cursed Child and everything. Warner Brothers has already copyrighted the websites for Harry Potter, the Cursed Child, and all this other shit. So the studio, you know they're going to be trying to push for it. Right. And, and he, no offense to Rupert Grint, being on Snatch for a couple episodes isn't going to pay the bills. But coming back as Ron Weasley will. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll get a and fucking Daniel Radcliffe check. said, you know, he's not completely against it, but for, this is a couple of years ago, but for now he doesn't want to do it, but if he needs that money, because right now Daniel is only doing a couple indie films every year, like Swiss Army but, Man, which we have to see still. But he's he does really good with but those right, fucking movies. He, 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 he does good. That's the thing. So Daniel Radcliffe, he really doesn't need to, but if it was like, because you know they're going to film it, and they're going to fucking, just like, the they're going to fucking make it into two movies to, you know the, to suck more money out of people. You know the only other movie that I saw with him in it besides the Harry Potter films was Woman in Black Woman in Horns in those the but the first one that I watched after Harry Potter was Woman in Black Horns was a really good one too I watched Horns and he, he doesn't have an accent he, he's acting like American I was yes. like fuck he sounds weird oh yeah he, he was he, we I grew was up like, with them fucking right. all these Harry Potter movies I'm like, Harry Potter <laughs> my fucking scar hurts and I think Voldemort's ring is still in my ass anyway <laughs> Pretty Little Liars is to end with season seven. Don't really give a shit about that show. I mean, fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> like, this has been going on like way too long. I thought it was supposed to end with like season like five or six, but they did like a five year time jump in the show, and then they kept going. What? They did, like one of the newest seasons. My brother he used to watch the show, and then he stopped because it got shitty. Yeah, I started the wa- new season. Was watching- like five, like it opens up with five years later. And it's like five years later, and then more shit starts happening. Right, because somebody's dead, and that's what the entire series is about. And then they you're then, fucking beating a dead horse with a stick. Right, and then you find out that she's not dead, and then they're trying to find out who's trying to kill him, and, and who then tried a cop to kill her. Fucking drinks a glass of wine, and people are pissed that that wine's missing. Who the fuck? Right, knows? like fucking, <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking show. You it should have should have ended a while ago. It really should have. <laughs> you had some news with our very yes, famous um, Bill Nye guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy is getting. A, and I really love this too. He's getting a show on Netflix, and it's called Bill Nye Saves the World. This is not your typical Bill Nye the Science Guy kind of a thing where he tells you about air pressures and all that kind of stuff. He's going to be doing all that kind of stuff, but he's going to be relating it to things in our world. He's going to go into politics. He's going to go into, um, they were saying weather patterns, global warming, um, how to create drugs. Right. He's going to go into all that fucking shit. Like, why shit messes you up. Like, um, the science behind why cigarettes cause you cancer or things like that. He's going to be going into all that kind of science. I'm really actually fucking excited for this because I am a huge science nerd. <laughs> this is this is going to be great. And uh, they said that it should be relatively the same, same show as Bill Nye the Science Guy for all you fans out there. So, I'd say take a look at it. And not only is Bill Nye getting one. But the B team, everyone except the two Mythbusters who got fired before the last season aired on Mythbusters, 
the fucking Mythbusters build team, B team, is coming fired? back. Yep, they all got released from their contracts, but they still brought back Jamie and the other guy to finish off the last season alone without them. But it's okay because Netflix is giving that. I think it was like Project Rabbit or White Project White Rabbit or something is the name of the show, and it's all three of them. It's the it's the girl and the two guys from Mythbusters, uh, and they have their own oh, show. Oh, Terry Grant and yep. um. <laughs> I couldn't remember their names correctly. So that's uh, I mean. Terry is the chick. There we go. Right. What were the names again? Because I was... You, it's gonna be right. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be all farts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shit your pants, man. Yes. Um, there's um, mm. Terry, Grant, and what Carrie. Fuck? What the fuck What's is that? going on in our studios, man? Did you just... Yes! What the fuck was that? I well, don't know. I'm sorry. What were their names? Terry. Terry. Grant. Grant. And Carrie. That's the that's the B team, Bill team. Yeah, and actually, they started making it more about them, like towards the last like three or four seasons. Right. And they were doing phenomenal with it. I I love their one with the balloon because haven't you ever wondered how many balloons would it take to lift me off the ground? Yes. And they lifted a small seven year old girl off the ground with a bunch of balloons. It was great. Oh. Dude. Is that what the fuck is that sound, man? That's that terrifying. sounds familiar. It does, but it's also like disembodied. Like I can't pick, I can't figure out where it's coming from. There's, there's one more thing. I, I uh, just started taking a look at, um, at a show here called. Um, Whoa. Whoa! You guys hear that? Where the hell did the baseball cap go, bro? Stuff is missing. Continue, finish your finish the entertainment section. Um, so it's the show called Shameless. What was the guy's name? William H Macy. Yeah, uh, his um, daughter in the show you get to see her tits a few times, flopping, bouncing. <gasps> Jesus fuck! Did that baseball hat just go flying? It did. You you didn't see anything? I didn't. I just saw the baseball hat land. Like I. That's terrible. That is. Terrifying, but anyway, floppy tits, bouncy tits, tits and water. It's it's a good show. You should probably uh, take a look at it. Is that a bell ringing in the background? What the fuck is going on here in the studio? What the fuck is happening? Con well, besides this crazy shit going on, real <laughs> fucked up. What I was in here last night. I saw that. What did you hear? I couldn't hear well in the video. Well, when I was recording with Pop Samurai, because I was I phoned it in and everything. Right. I was sitting right here, and then I literally heard like a little girl like laugh coming from over here. So then I went by the door, and I'm like, maybe I'm just fuck. It's just fuck with me. And then stuff started falling over here, and that's why I said when we first started this day, I'm like, I'm glad it's still a little daylight out because this is fucking right. crazy. So then I went inside, and I'm sitting in the bed, and I hear the garage door open, and then I hear it like like come back to close and as you saw in the video i went live yeah. with i came back like i had to pull it all the way close yeah it was and like then, cracked slightly I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit and then i hear something in the bathroom right so you went over really quick i'm gonna tell you something and it's gonna terrify you are you ready yeah look at the video again the first time you look over the bathroom it's really light in there you can see all the features the second time you go through it's completely black yeah it is com the light the lighting changes oh it is completely fucking black there was something standing there dude yeah yeah, there was probably something. And it there. doesn't happen all the time here, like. I mean, at least it's not a, a terrifyingly like evil something. evil spirit, right? But what's going on right now, besides the fact that it's fake, because that's it's part of the story. But what's going on right now is, I think, I don't know, something's watching us. Yeah, that's Kfab. Does. That's Kfab. This, the stuff I just told you about last night and everything that actually happened. That's not part of a story or anything. This is part of a story. Do you still feel wink, like something? Wink. <laughs> so do you feel like something's watching you right now? I don't know. Well, anyway, this has been Randy Lee Beasley. And Luigi Bonanno. Hopefully hope we don't were, die. We hope you enjoyed this uh, post-Labor Day special. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and fuck. I swear to God. Your fucking face looks like a hamster shitting it at all times. I fucking wish I could rip your goddamn guts out, string you up by the neck, and hang you out to dry in your stupid fucking with your stupid goddamn fucking and your stupid goddamn I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hope you fucking die in a fire. And the same to all you up people. Take it away, Darren. <laughs> You've been listening to uh, uh, Gassy Radio. Uh...